I know it. Like I'm losing my wife here, like. Like you're losing your wife? Because it's like, you know, one day I looked up and she told me, you know, I don't ever want to have kids with you. That's how we ended up on our break in the first place. That's how I ended up Gloria. That's how I ended up having Gianna. You know what I'm saying? Really? For somebody to say some wild to me like that. And now mm -hmm. she's telling me she want to freeze her eggs for the future. I'm going to freeze my Ooh, eggs just in case. All right. And if I want to take them out of the freezer and turn them into a child, I will do that. That sounds to me like I'm going to go on to freeze my eggs so when it's over with, I have some younger eggs for the next I'm dealing with. That's how I felt. Uh, at this point, she said, let her do what she want to do. So I said, well, do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. So what do you mean? I'm doing what I want to do. You can't do what you want to do, because the last time do. you did what you want to do, you stepped out on Kendra and had a baby. It feel like to be she already made the decision for herself, for me and our future. And you know, here I am. It's kind of like, do I go and prove her right and do my thing? When I already know how she feel and she already telling me what it is, it is what it is, man. I'm just, I'm like, whatever. You going to say you going to do what you want to do, I'm do what I want to do. John this is your wife. Maybe she's just hurt. You can't not I care know, because... I but, know, but, but Gianna wasn't here when she said, I don't want to have kids with you. Nobody was here. I wasn't cheating on none of that. I was busting my ass to make sure I was providing for my family, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. That's a lot. I've never seen Jack like this before, so clearly Kendra could talk with him never got too well. I'm afraid that Jack is going to do something stupid. I may have to find a way to fix this. Well, can I have your permission to have a conversation with Kendra? No. Why? I don't want you to. I was hoping that you could stay neutral. You want me to just be your friend? So if me and Kendra don't work out, then me and you could be like... I don't know. Guess what, I'm going to freeze my Ooh, eggs right. just in case. All right. And if I want to take them out of the freezer and turn them into a child, I will do that. I can right. pay for it and I can afford it. They gonna have a baby then. Well, oh, guess yeah. what? If we end up not being together because of those differences, then that's fine. Let me tell you what you already know. When you told me you don't if want I kids to... with me, that's, that did something to me. So now you sitting here telling me about you'll freeze some eggs and put them out of the freezer when you ready. You know what it sounds like to me? What? It sounds like we live in two different households. I'm gonna tell you this, you gonna be f***ed up if I do or actually do end up wanting to have a kid because I'm going to have one, okay? Forget a red flag, how about a big horn? Cause yeah. that you talking to is crazy. No. I don't have any plans on leaving Jocelyn, but at the end of the day, I know his track record. Hell, the whole world know his track record. So I would be a fool to sit up here and act like I don't know who I'm dealing with and act like I don't need no damn insurance policy. I will never, ever, ever be down Creek because of Jocelyn, and especially not with a topic as near and dear to my heart as my legacy. Your wife wanna have a baby. Hey, if I ever end up wanting to have kids and you don't want to have kids, let me free, let me go, and let somebody who mother deserve me and who's gonna give me what the I need, give it to me. If you can't step up into the shoes of what a husband is supposed to be, then leave me and let me continue to work. The show Love & Hip Hop Atlanta is full of drama, and now the focus is on young Jock, a central figure in both music and reality TV. Recently, Jock's marriage to attorney Kendra Robinson came to an end, reportedly due to disagreements about having children. Jock, whose real name is Jassiel Amon Robinson, has a big family with eight kids from past relationships. Family has always been important to him. When he and Kendra got married in 2021, fans thought they had finally found stability despite their rocky past. Their wedding, which aired on the show, was a lavish event symbolizing a fresh start but their marriage turned out to be full of challenges. From the beginning, their relationship faced issues, including rumors of cheating and struggles balancing work and personal life. On the show, Jock often praised Kendra for being smart and ambitious, while Kendra supported his goals. However, a major disagreement was their views on having children. Jock, who deeply values family, wanted to have more children with Kendra and envisioned building a future together and with a bigger family. But Kendra, a successful lawyer with big career goals, wasn't as eager. She had spent years building her legal career and wanted to think carefully about becoming a mother. She was also concerned about blending into Jock's already large family and how it could impact their lives and responsibilities. Their differing views on starting a family became a constant source of tension in their relationship. The strain between Jock and Kendra grew as Jock saw Kendra's reluctance to have children as a sign that their future goals didn't align. 
Kendra, on the other hand, felt that prioritizing her career didn't mean she cared for Jock any less or wasn't dedicated to their marriage. For her, it wasn't just about compromising, but about staying true to her values and the life she had worked hard to achieve. Despite their strong feelings for each other, this major disagreement became an obstacle they couldn't overcome. Friends of the couple revealed that the decision to part ways was mutual, but deeply emotional. Both of them realized their differing priorities were leading them in separate directions. Following the announcement of their divorce, Jock shared his thoughts in an interview. He said, Sometimes, love alone isn't enough. You can care for someone deeply, but if your visions for the future don't line up, it's hard to move forward together. We had to make a choice that was best for both of us. His statement reflected the difficulty of their decision. While Jock had dreamed of starting a family with Kendra, he understood that forcing her into that choice would only create bitterness. So I don't have to know. I'm just saying. But she not coming into my house. You deal with that. Them your old ass, sad, sorry ass bones. You deal with that. I don't have to. You lucky I'm doing this much. That's the blessing. Kendra has faced the public eye with poise. She firmly believes that a woman's value in a relationship shouldn't be tied to whether or not she wants to have children. I made the decision that felt right for me, she reportedly shared with friends. It doesn't mean I cared for Jock any less, it just means I had to honor my own path. Fans have had varied reactions. Some applaud Kendra for standing firm and view her as a role model for women prioritizing their independence and goals. Others empathize with Jock, understanding his desire for a partner who shared his vision of expanding their family. As they move forward separately, both Jock and Kendra are focusing on rebuilding their lives. Jock remains active in his music career and continues to appear on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, giving viewers a glimpse into his post-divorce life. Kendra, meanwhile, has returned her attention to her legal career, using her experience to motivate other young professionals, especially women, to pursue their ambitions. Without compromise, their breakup highlights the challenges modern couples face when personal aspirations clash with traditional expectations. It's a reminder that even deep love can't always bridge gaps in life goals. Jock and Kendra's story shows the importance of shared visions in relationships, and the strength it takes to walk away when those visions no longer align. While their marriage has ended, their journey teaches lessons about love, self-respect, and prioritizing individual happiness. By choosing not to settle for a future that didn't feel right, they demonstrated the power of knowing yourself and respecting each other's differences, even in difficult moments. For fans of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, this chapter has closed, but their story will continue to spark important conversations about love, choices, and staying true to who you are.